We're going to have a look at some special cases of the product of two binomials. And the first one we're going to look at is what I call the sum and difference binomials. And what that means is that the two brackets look exactly the same. They have the same numbers in each bracket, but the one has a plus sign and the other one has a minus sign. So if we have a look at the examples here, x plus 3 and x minus 3. The x and the x are the same, the 3 and the 3 are the same. The only thing that makes these brackets different is the one is a sum and the other one is a difference. One is a plus and the other one is a minus. And if we have a look at what happens when we find this product, if we do FOIL and we look at the first, x times x is x squared. If we do the outers, x times negative 3 is negative 3x. The inners, positive 3 times x is positive 3x. And the lasts, positive 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. What happens here, because these brackets were the same, but the one was addition and the other one was subtraction, is that our middle terms are exactly the same with opposite signs. And what happens then when we have exactly the same thing, but the one is a plus and the other is a minus, is that they add up to zero. So our final answer here is x squared minus 9. So when you see a sum and difference bracket, when they are absolutely identical, except the one has a plus and the other has a minus, we know that the outers and the inners are always going to add up to zero. And so we can actually save ourselves a little bit of work by not even worrying to multiply them. So when we have a sum and difference brackets, we actually only need to multiply the first and the lasts. So if we look here, 2a times 2a is 4a squared, and positive b times negative b is negative b squared. So the final answer is 4a squared minus b squared. So just to recap, if you recognize something as being a sum and a difference, in other words, the brackets are the same, 2a, 2a, b, and b, but the one is a plus and the one is a minus, we can actually leave out the outers and the inners and just multiply the firsts and the lasts. In your homework book are some examples for you to try, so pause the video here and try those examples. Number one, first of all, have a look at the binomials, a and a, 4 and 4, they're exactly the same. The one is a plus and the one is a minus. So these are sum and difference binomials. So we just do the firsts and the lasts. a times a is a squared, and 4 times negative 4 is negative 16. Number 2, 3x and 3x, 2y and 2y. The brackets are exactly the same, but the one is a minus and the one is a plus. So it is a sum and difference bracket. So we can just do our firsts and our lasts. 3x times 3x is 9x squared. And negative 2y add 2y is negative 4y squared.